Hi everyone. This is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to create a monogrammed name. Now it's not going to be the traditional version. I'm going to show you a little spin of it. And so I'm here in Cricut Design Space. I'm going to go on the left hand side and click text. From text I'm going to choose my font. Now when you've just started doing this it's going to say font and the default font is going to say Cricut Son. From there you would either use the Cricut fonts, which some of them are free or some of them you have to pay for, or you can use the fonts on your system. I have about 201 fonts on my system, but I also bookmark the ones I like to work with. So I'll click my bookmark ones. I'll choose my favorite one to do monograms, and it's called Honey Crafter. Now, to start off, you just need the first letter of whatever name you're going to be creating. My name happens to be Tara Lee. And so I'm going to do the T first. You need to resize it to a size that you can actually work with. So I'm going to make it about that size so you can see it on the screen. Now, of course, you need a name to put in the monogram. And so I'm going to click text again. It's going to give me the same font, but this time I'm going to type in my full name. From there, you will see when you usually do a monogram, your name goes from left to right. I'm going to switch it up and make it more vertically, so up to down. And I'm going to make it bigger so that it actually fits with, within the actual T. Now, there is a curve here to my letter because it's the font I'm using. And so I would like for my name to have that curve. So I'm going to click Curve, and I'm going to play around with it until I can get it to where I'm satisfied. And as you can see, some of the spacing has got a little bit too big. So I'm going to highlight just my name. If you go to the right hand side, you can control what you're working on. So I'm just highlighting my name. I'm going to go to letter space and I'm going to decrease it so that the letters come a little bit closer together. And then I'm going to move it to where I'm satisfied. There you go. Now from there, you're going to create an offset. The offset I like to work with is 0.09. And so you type it in or you can toggle it with the button here. Make sure you hit apply. So once I have my name, the offset, and the actual monogram, I'm going to just make my name invisible because I just want to work with the offset and the base letter. I will highlight both of them, and I'm going to splice. So now that everything's been spliced, I'm going to remove the pieces I no longer want to work with, highlight them all, and throw them in the trash. From there, I'm going to go back to my name. I'm going to make sure it's seen again, and there I have it. Once that is all done, I will flatten and now I have my new monogram so I can cut it out with vinyl or on paper and create whatever crafts I would like to create with my new monogram so do your own have fun play around with them it's just a different spin on creating a monogram for whatever your needs are happy crafting